Howdy howdy y'all, welcome back to Luke's Homebrew. Today we are talking about Counterspell, as it seems like a lot of other uh, bigger YouTube channels and YouTubers have been talking about it lately. And I wanted to express my opinion as uh, a DM myself, and I haven't used this method yet, but I've been thinking about it, especially as the, as the discussion has come up and I've seen it more often in my gameplay. But it seems like Counterspell, while I think is essential to D&D, at the same time does not flow mechanically very well. And what I mean by that is, let's say uh, two party members or maybe one party member in a lich, whether whatever the situation may be, is uh, say one character casts Fireball, for example, very obvious and big spell. Okay, well, now the enemy goes ahead and casts Counterspell on that. Well, say they cast Counterspell at whatever level that is, third level, that way it instantly negates the third level Fireball, it resolves. Well, what if the caster of Fireball decides to Counterspell that? Well, no matter what, the first caster, whoever casted fire, Fireball, the first one, will always supersede the other guy that casted Counterspell initially to try and stop you from casting Fireball. And the only downside to that is the initial caster just wastes an additional spell slot. But not enough of those spell slots are used within combat for those, especially those bigger combats where this spell is really going to start breaking in. Not enough spells are really used for it to affect the long-term uh, portions of combat because generally after a big fight like this, especially after a lot of resources have been used, the players just long rest and then it's whatever. They just move on like nothing happened. But to the guy that casted Counterspell initially, well, they just got completely screwed over. They wasted a spell slot, theoretically. And if they upcasted their Counterspell, there was still a chance that their Counterspell would be Counterspelled by the enemy, and yet again, their turn be wasted, or their reaction be wasted. So, like I said, this is something that I've been thinking about and thinking about implementing. Currently, my party is a lot of martial classes, so I haven't seen it lately, but my previous campaign, they were all spellcasters, and this was a complete nightmare, especially when two party members started turning on each other. So what I've been thinking of doing is instead of having it be I cast a spell, that spell gets counterspelled, then I counterspell the counterspell, kind of like Magic the Gathering, and the second counterspell almost always superseding the first, what I want to do instead is have the first counterspell resolve as it normally would, however, add an, an additional line to counterspell, the, the actual spell, and say that if it is targeting another spell named counterspell, then you must make you each must make a arcana check or perhaps a just standard uh spell casting ability check so if you're a wizard that would be a d20 roll plus your intelligence modifier and that's it and then the original caster cast that as well that way there is no it's completely up to the dice roll and the initial caster the one being counterspelled does have the disadvantage per se because Obviously, counterspelling a counterspell really sucks. So leaving it up all to the dice to really determine whether or not the counterspell is counterspelled, I think is a much more fair system to both the original caster and to the counterspeller because obviously the counterspeller doesn't want that initial spell, fireball, whatever it may be, to come into effect. But the person who's counterspelling the counterspell, I'm so sorry for the amount of counterspells in this video, um, uh, will then proceed to have pretty much a 50-50 chance, but then have that extra ability modifier, just in case they're more intelligent or whatnot, to be able to possibly counterspell the counterspell. And the way that I, I'm justifying that is it's a reaction to cast counterspell. It's a reaction to make an attack of opportunity. Okay, well, what happens when you're reacting to a reaction? Is that like a subset? How long is that taking? Because obvious, like time is a little bit flimsy in D&D. The way I'm thinking about it is, let's say your whole turn is six seconds, as the book notates. Well, if a counterspell costs, say, one to two seconds, 
Well, how do you counterspell a counterspell after they've counterspelled it? <laughs> I'm going to put a timer or a clock up there on how many times I've said counterspell. But the point I'm trying to say is, is the way I'm justifying it is there is not enough time to actually cast counterspell effectively. So that arcane battle, that abil spellcasting ability score modifier role is to determine whether or not you have enough time and reflexes and instinct to be able to pull that off and bring enough magic into that. Uh, but that's my solution. Like I said, I haven't played with it yet, but I'm planning on implementing it when it does come in. So hopefully that's helpful, at least spark some ingenuity, perhaps bring something else to the table. If you did enjoy, please hit that like button down below. I really appreciate it. It does help grow the channel. And otherwise, have a good one. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.